Welcome to Isaac Newton World. Please subscribe to our channel. In today's breaking news, we're going to talk about the Catholic priest who was shot dead in South Africa, and also the three Orthodox monks who were murdered in South Africa as well. A priest of Zambian by origin was shot dead yesterday, March 13th, in South Africa. Father William Banda of the Street Patrick Society for Foreign Missions was shot dead as he prepared to celebrate Holy Mass at Zanin Cathedral. According to testimony, Father Banda was leading the prayer that precedes the 8 o'clock Mass on the morning of March 13th. The faithful presence saw an unknown person, very well-dressed African man enter the church, walk up to the priest and sit next to him. After praying the rosary, Father Banda went to the sacristy to prepare to celebrate morning Mass. The stranger accompanied the priest into the sacristy. As the priest tried to enter, the murderer pulled a gun from his pocket and shot Father Band in the back of the head. The murderer made his way towards the exit of the church. But when he reached the threshold, he turned around, approached the priest's body and fired a second shot in the head. Once he left the church, witnesses report that the murderer jumped into a car that was waiting for him and then fled at full speed. Please subscribe to Isaac Newton's World Channel for more Catholic news. The murder of the Catholic priest follows that of the three Egyptian Coptic monks of the Coptic Orthodox Archdiocese of South Africa who were murdered on March 12 in their monastery of Cullinan, a small town in Gauteng province, about 18 miles east of the capital, Pretoria. According to a March 13 statement from the Coptic Orthodox Church, one of the three slain was Father Takla Musa, Assistant Bishop and Abbot of Street Mark and Street, Samuel, the Confessor Monastery. The other two were identified as Fathers Mina Eva Marcus and Eustos Eva Marcus. In what the church described as a criminal attack, an unknown assailant pounced on the monks in the early hours of March 12, killing the three, all of whom were found with stab wounds. A fourth monk was left with injuries. The church expresses its deep anguish over the occurrence of such a tragic incident, extends its sincere condolences to the families of the three monks, Coptic Orthodox Church said in a statement. Our pain and sadness no amount of words can express, but we know that they rejoice in paradise. The motive of the attack is not clear, but it further underlined the current challenge in the country, which has one of the highest rates of violence in the world. Recently, the country has grappled with sporadic and lethal xenophobic attacks against African and Asian foreign nationals living in the country, including refugees, asylum seekers, and migrants. In South Africa, there are 12 Orthodox churches, a school, a training center. There are 11 priests and 120 deacons serving about 15,000 members, or more than 4,500 families. Bishop Antonius Marcos leads the South Africa Archdiocese. In the statement, church officials said South African people, the black community in particular, loved Father Musa and hoped he would be ordained their bishop. This is a great loss for us. We will never find a father like Father Takla Musa who loved and served us unconditionally for about 20 years since he has been in South Africa, it said. Leaders worldwide condemned the killings which sent shockwaves among Coptics in South Africa and other regions. In Ethiopia, Orthodox Archbishop Abun Hanak of Addis Abba said he was saddened by deaths while the Coptic Archbishop Angelos of London described the killing as saddening and shocking. In this Holy Lenten period, we pray for the repose of our departed brothers and comfort for our Coptic Orthodoxy community in South Africa, their brother monks, and their families and loved ones, said Archbishop Angelos in a March 12th post on Twitter. On March 13th, news reports indicated the police had launched an investigation into the incident and had arrested an Egyptian member of the Coptic Church as a suspect in the case. The police said the bodies of the monks had knife injuries and a surviving monk had talked of being attacked with metal bars. The Egyptian embassy in South Africa called for calm and conveyed its condolences to the Coptic Orthodox Church and families of the deceased. The embassy urged the South Africans and Egyptians to allow the law to take its course. Please subscribe to Isaac Newton's World Channel. Thanks and God bless.